Today, I'm doing a $2,000 spending challenge at no other than Burbank Sports Cards, the best card shop in America. If you guys ever make it to Southern California, mark my words, Burbank Sports Cards is an experience you cannot miss. Today, I brought my own three row because Rob gets really mad when I come here and I buy about 250 cards a week here and I always take their two and three rows. So now I don't have to listen to his BS when he gets mad at me because I brought my own. And we're gonna sell all this on our whatnot auctions. We need to restock on inventory. I haven't been here in a couple weeks because we've been on the road. So now it's time to get back to work. Here we go. Store credit and Ryan, how much store credit do I have? Twenty nine ten. Favorite price point in cards right now is between two dollars and two hundred fifty. But magic for me right now is between twenty and fifty dollars. Kind of more liquid, cool autographs, patches, golds do really well for us. And if you're trying to build your online store, eBay, whatnot, whatever you guys are trying to do, you gotta you know build community around that and then kind of build it as it goes. So I love Mike Trout. That Jeff Gordon's kind of sick. It's a really cool card, an on-card autograph, and they put the COA on top of the autograph. I've never seen something like that. All right, find me the best wrestling card. Wrestling is the real people uh, fight. Do you guys think wrestling's fake? Game used Joel Embiid. Bill Sharman, he was a legend from USC. Man, you guys remember how good Kemba Walker was? Yeah. Tied at a 25, he was so good. Maradona? Yeah, Maradona and Bats just love it. Why do you like that card so much? Just because there's, there's two legends. Do, uh, he signs cards, but he's just a bit rarer. Daryl Henderson with the Rams logo. That is unbelievable. That is a that is a beautiful card. I'm buying that. If you guys remember one of the best celebrators in the NFL, Chad Johnson. Look at that patch. A little, little, little bit of missing there, but it's orange and white. I think it's a great looking card. I played defense when I played football. Jason Taylor was a beast, but this card is really, really cool. You know why? It's an on-card autograph that you can't see on camera, really. Look at that auto. Even though it's a sticker, he signs that on every sticker. Freddie Freeman, game used out of 27. There's something crazy about this. You think, okay, David Ortiz, $25 card. Look at the autograph. It's auto That was part of an autograph game used jersey right there, David Ortiz. Look, you see that? That's why they call it museum collection. They save the best stuff. All right, tell me from 1 to 10 how'd they make it today. Let's hear it. Let's see it. 1 to 10, how much? Like an 8. Damn darn old. That's kind of cool. It's like an R patch. Oh, she's a big deal. Just going. She? She's a huge deal. Yeah. There's one. Women's basketball is taking over. Yeah. The women's tournament was better than the men's. Is that why? Is that so? Caitlin Clark played LSU last night. Yeah. Angel Reese, Flage. So apparently, Ice Cube is trying to get her for the big three, right? Paying yeah. like three million dollars. Yeah. Whereas normally these guys only be on like eight hundred thousand or something. These girls don't get paid enough, so yeah. they should. The girls should take more of the deals. It's supposed to say young guns, so. Well, it doesn't say young guns. It's gonna be a million dollar card. Could be a two million dollar card. Two million dollar card. Yeah, hey. Got a shoe right here. Got a shoe. Yes. All right. So total us up. You got thirteen hundred bucks. I spent thirteen hundred of my two. Thirteen hundred total of your cred. You're gonna take twenty nine ten. Get the thirteen off. You get sixteen and ten on the books. I travel a lot, so I have my store credit. But yep. some of those cards I could have traded you went up and down. But yep. someone else is gonna get them. I mean, value. do a lot of people do that? They leave the store credit with you guys yeah. and come back. Yeah. If there's nothing here that they want at the time, and but they want to get rid of the card, they'll lock in the value. Lock in the trade value. Because on the date on that, I think it said 3.6 or 3.7. and it was or, like almost a month ago. It was a month ago I've had my credit, and I finally used it. But And you're getting cards at today's price. That's the Burbank way, man. It's the best place to trade and sell your sports cards. Because yep. you know, I, I mean, everybody knows, the market is so up and it's down. So one day, Webinyama is the hottest player in the NBA, and one day it's freaking Joel Embiid coming back tonight. So you never know. We got Erling Holland at a 150. Got a John Travolta autograph. Conor McGregor, UFC. Look at that patch right there. There's four colors on that one. Beautiful card right there. He's coming back. And had to pick up this Conor Bedard. Nice Dirk Nowitzki. This Conor Bedard artistic piece. That's a cool one. SP, I'll take that. I'm actually gonna take that to Toronto with us. Tyrese Halliburton Red. We got a Hulk Mania. We got a nice Francisco Lindor auto. I thought this was a great price on this. On-card autograph for the win. John Smoltz autograph. These are great for our whatnots. This David Ortiz is really cool. Found that Shea Gilgis. Got a nice Mike Trout out of five. One of my favorite players to pick up a baseball bat. I found a Patrick Mahomes out of 75 for, you know, I think I picked this up for 15 bucks. Graded Mahomes. Thought that was a cool deal, so. Hey, what's going on, man? Fresh arrivals. Yeah, uh, Ryan just put these literally on my desk. Case, Case hit. hit, yeah. Flawless Curry. Another got Herbie. another big Herbie. We got a Fields Panini one rookie auto. 500, 823, 71, 13, one, 14 grand. Ryan just walked in and put on my desk. This is all freshies. 
Pippin Legacy. Lajuan Legacy. Yeah. It's a hot card right now. Do you don't know what, why those are his PC? Kai, and I, in your, <laughs> in your endos. In your endos for what? Uh, pieces of anatomy. Wait, he's in my soccer team, Newcastle. Oh, he, that's oh, his really? favorite team. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to tell me that no, you're a fan. It's, it's, more of a, it's more childish than that. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? Dude, they're gold, man. Can you pull them out? I want one. No, you can't have it. Wow. Not for sale. You give, you give the full name autograph. You don't sign your initials. No, I give the full name. You know, maybe when maybe when I've autographed another ten thousand, maybe I'll shorten it. We need the father son duel of uh, father son or duel or the triple of you. Oh you, yeah, Steve and Ryan. yeah. You would think we get right. that triple. There was eight different cards. Whoa. This is my favorite though by far. This guy nailed it. Whoa. Who made this? Um, it's um, part of the um, card art league. Um, that Brian Friedman's in, involved in from talent. We talked a lot about Victor Webinyama in my last few videos. I think Webinyama is a phenomenal talent. I just think his prices are kind of high right now. I think he's going to be great, but at the end of the day, the Spurs got to win some games. Am I buying Webinyama? Personally, I'm not buying Webinyama. I think Juan Soto and the Yankees are kind of hot right now, so Juan Soto could be a buy maybe, but I'm trying to build my Josh Young PC, my Kelsey Plum PC, Aaron Rodgers, DeMarcus, Sacramento King. Looking at the happiest place in the hobby. It's 627. I've been to a lot of card shops at 4.30 p.m. and they close at 5. And there is just a lot of buzz here. A lot of kids are getting off of school, adults are off work, just trying to, you know, hang out, rip some boxes, buy some singles, and you see that here. Really want to focus in on experience, interactive, and, and make this hobby fun. Ever owned an 86 Fleer Jordan? I'll start at a one and move my way up. There's a card, for example, a 58 Mantle. So I started at a one, then I went to an SGC two, then I went to a PSA three, and I have a four. So what I like to do is I like to upgrade. So I'll start with a one and move my way up. And if I could sell a one for a decent amount and put that money toward a two or trade into a bigger numbered card. By the end of this year, I hope to have an 86 Fleer Jordan one. I just need to pick the right time and like how, how I can like make, make it make sense and then move on to the next one. This has changed a lot since I've been here. Garbage Pail Kids, Pokemon, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. If you guys are non-sport, because I know non-sport people watch this content, or peculiar like non, the main sports, they have everything. Look at that, Giovanni Dos Santos. If you've opened this hockey, how long did it take you to get the Bedard rookie? That's what I want to know. It's comping cards right now, which those will go in the showcases. We feel it's just kind of a happy place for people. Um, this, it just, you walk into a card shop, you automatically feel younger. You t tend to leave any kind of problems outside the door. You can focus on, you know, your passion, which is the hobby. So, um, and people spend probably on average I'm gonna say an hour in the shop on average. Um, some people spend five or six hours. Very few people walk in, buy something quickly and leave. That just doesn't seem to happen here. There's something for everyone here, isn't there? Yeah, that and I think it's just kind of a clean, well-lit, organized, you know, environment where you're gonna see new things every single time you walk in here. So you're not seeing the same old, same old, which unfortunately is the norm for a lot of places. So. We work hard to make sure stop. it's fresh. Look at that 2023 Bowman, no, Caitlin Clark gold. Mind. So those tops finest green, look at it, he looks like the Hulk. That is a John Stockton 2003-2004 UD Finite, which is LeBron James rookie year, on card jersey auto. The autograph looks beautiful on that. And then we go up and we got 0506 Black Diamond, Paul Pierce with the game used jersey auto. And then this one's really cool, classic Tony Parker. It is a James Harden which it's an on-card autograph. You don't see a lot of hard autographs in Panini. Women's basketball is really revving up, which is gonna be really fun to see. But I think the first map for women's basketball was Sabrina Ionesco. She kind of got us going. Kobe's protege right here. Best selling box <laughs> by far. For 80 bucks, you know, the mega boxes. Yeah. yeah, that's a great buy. 80 bucks. Yeah. What's that thing again? That's a great guy. Green pull start at 25. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. And he recommended the box? Yes. Yeah. And what'd you guys think when he recommended it? Maybe Let's see what happens. See what happens? It's a blaster, you know, but it's a $110 box. Let's go, round two. Classic right here. Let's see it. I haven't seen this open in a while. Silver? Oh, Sammy Ojale, I saw Celtics. There's one more pack, Ooh. buddy. Sacramento Kings? Oh, I thought it was De'Aaron Fox. Oh, Harry man, Giles. That's all right. Fox would have been sick, though. No color? No, it's green. Get a green. Come on, get a Tatum. Green. Get a Tatum. Get a Tatum. Oh, Hassan Whiteside. Sorry, you still pulled the. You still pulled, we'll still see got it. it. Still got it. That's sick. Sandy Koufax autograph on card for the win. Matt Otani just takes it away. Tough tribute. It's a classic. 
Zenith Football, Tops Dynasty, Impeccable, Spectra. I really like this. Tops Crummy FC, that's brand new. Obsidian. Obviously Bedard 2324, Bowman's best. The updated inventory, like if you've never been to a card shop, you can see the new stuff right here. I mean, these are the brand new products coming out and people love opening the new stuff because you want to chase the one of ones, the crazy autos, and then Bedard rookies, stuff like that. So that's cool. Yesterday was the 35th anniversary of buying the shop. I missed it. 35 years and four months ago, Don wants to sell the business. And I had worked for him for like 10 years, coins, Comic, stamps, comics, gold, silver. Yeah. And it was like the one thing in this world I was good at, you know, with the help of the family, got the business and just scaling since then, I was 22. Why did you trust this business 35 years ago? What made you want to sign the papers? It could have been really risky. Because he knew nothing about construction, so I couldn't get him into my business because yeah. he got two True. left hands. So. Yeah. Two left hands, yeah. that's, that's brutal. Yes, and then within a week we dumped the stamps, we dumped the foreign coins, we dumped the comic books. We kept the American uh, coins for yeah. a while, right. for about a year. How do you how do you guys do it? Like, you don't ever get sick of each other? Do we agree on everything? No. Not everything. Do we agree on most things? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, literally, Ryan can have an idea. My dad doesn't know, need to even know what the idea is, but he'll agree with him because I disagree with no, Ryan. that's not true. It is so true. No. It is so true. Somebody wants to open a card shop, What's what advice would you give them? being a businessman. This is not an easy you know, business because there's so much involved, you know, and you can lose your shirt on it if you don't know what you're doing. The best piece of advice I think either one of us can give you if you're looking to open a shop is always look at it from the customer side of the counter. I think if you do that and try to elevate the experience and be, and be able to build a shop that you don't want to walk into with your family and be able to do it once, twice, three times a week, you do that and you're gonna be able to do it long term. He's in here all day doing things that you might not notice, but they're getting done. Uh, Ryan, myself, my team. He works a lot of hours and that's why I respect him because I did the same thing when I was in construction. I was going to work at 5 a.m. and I didn't come home until 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Wow. I never saw my dad when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> he was never around. Wait, so. but now you're spending most of no, your- Oh yeah, now I'm sick of him. Quality, <laughs> now, now you guys spend more, you're spending more time with your dad in your 50s, right? Yeah. 50s than you did when you were in your 20s. Oh, way more. When I started in business, I had an empty store, no customers, no sign on the building, no equipment, no anything. So starting from scratch. We're very alike in the fact that we love working. It doesn't bother us. It's something that you wake up and you're excited to go into work. Just like when he left at five in the morning, he's not kidding. Actually working here, he'd come in at five. He doesn't just do thousand dollar cards, guys. He does everything, refractors. Look at that. Yeah, just get it by broken down by sport. There it is, that's sick. Yeah, that stuff goes like immediately. You have bodybuilder cards, and my first thought is, there's no way that those are in the Beckett database. Well, you know, it's funny. They were set up at the Burbank show. I'd never heard of them, never seen them before. And all of a sudden, today, they came in in a deal, in a bulk deal, so I don't know what they paid for them. So that's what this set is. Wow. Cardiverse Mr. Olympia. All right, find us this one. Yun Long. Oh, there, there he is. is. There's Yun Long Ping. He's in the database. So let me ask you this, on that, something like this, this autograph, mm -hmm. will we sell this in the store or on the no, website? No, all these are going straight to the website. Why wouldn't you sell that Young Long Ping in the store? Because no one's coming in here going, do you have any Young Long Ping cards? <laughs> it'll get scanned and then it'll get pushed to eBay. So it'll be on our Beckett Marketplace store as well as our eBay store. As collectors, we're kind of OCD and a little crazy about this thing. Yeah, dealers as well. I think you need to be a little OCD because you know that you need to be organized. You know that if you're not organized, you can't sell cards efficiently. And I think that these cards just trigger so many memories for us. We wanna sit there and have stuff stacked by price. We're gonna go live on whatnot. I need some kind of organization. I need to have this stuff in the spreadsheet. I need to be able to ship efficiently. So if you're not OCD, you're not very good at the game. My non-card friends think I'm crazy with mm -hmm. all this. Like, what are your non-card friends, when they come in and see this, what do they think of all this? Oh, they just call me mental. If they see the warehouse, they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? And I'm like, it's just my passion. It's something I'm good at. Yeah. If you know your ABCs, one, two, threes, and colors, yeah. you can go to my warehouse and, you know, and start picking orders because yeah. it was built around my mother. 
25 years ago, 30 years ago, where she'd get a phone call and the person would be looking for a certain card. She'd be know exactly where that card would be in the shop. She knew how much it was. She could get back on the phone. Yes, we have that card. And of course, it's gone online. It's scaled enormously, but it's the same tenant that you need to be able to have people that come in that don't know things. You need to be able to lay things out through your OCD so that they are efficient, effective, and can make you money. Tell me about your mom. Uh, miss she, her heart's in here, I can tell. Uh, her heart's in here. Yeah, I miss my mom. She worked at the shop, and she was kind of the adult in the room. I was probably the oldest. I had kids working for me that were even younger. I was 22. Oh. And she'd answer the phones, she'd write the checks, took care of the money, and just it was real social, and everyone loved her. My mom didn't want to just sit around and have someone else do it. She wanted to be able to do it herself. There are so many different talents that are needed in this store. And I'm not good at all these different things. And I've, I've learned to delegate things. And I can't be sorting cards and I can't be shipping cards and all that. So I've learned to delegate over the years and just make sure that you've got really good people working for you. What is something that you think she'd love that you'd put in the shop? And mm -hmm. then what's the, something that you think she would change here? Okay, the thing that she would love is the fact that her, her grandson has taken ownership of this business, has, you know, t just taking what I've done and taking it to another level. I think she'd be so proud of the both of us and even her husband, Steve, as well. I think that she'd be proud of the fact that he was still here and seeing what her grandson's been able to do here. So I think she'd be really proud of that. Uh, things that she would change. Um, probably wouldn't be a fan of Coors Light in the fridge. <laughs> I think that that would probably be the first thing that drinking on the job probably would be frowned upon. And maybe just the hours that we keep. We're here a lot and she'd probably want us to dial that back a little bit. But those would probably be the two things. But I think that she'd be incredibly proud of where the business has gone and that the three generations are still intact, kicking ass and taking names. We gotta get out of here. It's almost seven o'clock closing. Rob, card father over here, he's been working hard. I did my $2,000 challenge. I spent 1300 bucks on my store credit. Nice. And I told them in this video, the reason I love store credit is because the last time I got the store credit was on March 7th and mm -hmm. we're on, I can't believe it. I've, I haven't been here for like a month. Yeah, you suck. Like in, <laughs> so I told them some of those cards could have gone down. Could have. But I have my store credit to buy current stuff so I can sell it now. Yeah, it works for everybody. It's a good business model. Yeah, we give a lot of store credit. We actually give more store credit than cash in a lot of cases. Most cases, people come up to sell us cards. Ray, Ryan, Jordan, they'd rather get the store credit than the cash because we give 10% more and they're just going to be buying cards anyways. And plus we can put it for the future use as well. You don't need to use it that day. So um, yeah, store Great. credit really worked out for jay this time for sure let's go hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop a like leave a comment and subscribe if you need a zion case i got you use my code mojo 10 and i'm live every single week on whatnot use my invite link down below and you'll get your first ten dollars spent on me mojo out out best place in the hobby damn right <laughs>